This video demonstrates how to protect and license an application created with Microsoft Access. We'll start by opening the application to access under File Menu. We'll go Info and then Encrypt with Password. This is where you'll enter a password. Next, you'll go File, Save As and then you're going to want to scroll down to the option make a ccde file and then click the save button we've created a folder called access directly on drive c and inside that folder we have added a source and an output folder within our source folder that's where we're storing our microsoft access application if we want to apply protection licensing to that, we can do that with Quick License. We'll launch Quick License, and it presents a window. We've actually set up a couple license types, but we'll just take a look at this first one, which is a manual activation process, where on first launch, the user has to enter a unique code for that computer to activate. So if we bring up the license dialog for this kind of license, you can see that it never times out. It allows reactivation on the same computer, and it requires activation, machine calculated activation. And that's basically uh, all we really need to set up for this kind of license. And we'll click a button called Make Ticket, and it will generate a uh, tiny uh, ticket file that defines that license. So let's go ahead and quit out of Quick License, and here we have the ticket file generated. Now let's also add an icon file that we're going to use during the wrapping process. protect our application, we're going to launch the Add License Wrapping tool. So we're going to select the path to the application we want to wrap with the Select button. We'll just double click on the application, do the same thing to the ticket file, which defines what kind of license we want to apply. We'll select the icon file we want to apply to it. Uh, select the output folder where the generated application goes. We'll fill in some other information from the Quick License application. Uh, there are some specific options for a Microsoft Access document. If we click MS Access, we can set some of these different checkboxes. The main thing we need to set here for sure is the encryption password that we used when we protected our Microsoft Access document. And once we have everything set up, we simply click the Build Protected Application button and we've uh, generated a protected application to this output folder. Here we see our protected application as a .exe file on Windows or .app file on Mac. We can apply whatever icon we wanted to to the application. It's in the output folder here. If we launch the application, it presents an activation dialog. With this offline activation process, it's showing a unique request number for that computer and requiring a activation code. The user gives the activation code back to the vendor and the vendor puts it into quick license application and generates the activation code needed and then that's delivered back to the customer when the customer clicks activate now the application is activated and an open data file window is presented this is a user interface to create different named copies of the protected uh, database so for example if we click new prompted for a name let's give a name uh, Home Inventory 1, click New again, let's go Home Inventory 2, and so on. And if we actually want to open one of those directly into uh, Microsoft Access, uh, there it is, and it's a fully functional application. If we uh, decided we want to add a new item to the list here and uh, save it out or quit, uh, then the next time the user launches the application, uh, there's the uh, new data that was saved within the application. Now that we've seen how to create a protected application from our Access database using an offline activation process, let's look at a more automated online activation process. So we're going to launch the Quick License application and we're going to create a new license type. Again, it's going to uh, be a standard product license that allows reactivation on a computer uh, 
uh, machine specific activation but what's going to be different about this one is we're going to link it to an online activation server so we can use a serial number uh, given to the user at the time of purchase to automatically activate the application instantly. Once we've set everything up we will uh, generate uh, the ticket file and then we can uh, quit out of this and open up the add license tool and we're going to select that ticket file that we just generated and build a protected application the same way we did before. We can also set up a couple other uh, optional features. Uh, for example, if we go back to our MS access options, uh, we can set up an automated update process uh, by just setting the checkbox for update and putting a path where we're going to store updated versions of our access uh, application uh, on a website and we'll see how that works in just a moment. Once we click build, the protected application is uh, generated into the output folder. Serial number activation is easy for both the vendor and the customer. On first launch, an activation dialog is presented. The uh, user enters the serial number received from the vendor at the uh, time of purchase and uh, enter some other information uh, requested in the dialog. And uh, the application is then instantly activated. Here's the third way to protect your access application using a USB dongle. You can launch uh, Make Dongle and create your own uh, dongles. It opens up a record, shows a unique dongle ID there and you just put in empty USB uh, flash drives in your computer and build as many dongles as you need for that application and then you're essentially just selling the dongle uh, with this application can actually be stored on the dongle as well so once once you built the dongle you'll have to uh, open up quick license and you're going to create a, a, a product license that actually activates without a dialog and generate a ticket for that file for that as well and then finally you're going to open up the add license wrapping tool and for the ticket file you'll select that particular ticket and put the dongle ID in this field there's one additional field that's uh, uh, adds some additional capability and that is if you click on the options and then uh, MS options uh, button. It brings up the Microsoft Options dialog again where we can customize things. Uh, but this checkbox, Store Data Files on Dongle, uh, that actually allows the uh, protected application to be bound to that dongle. So it only runs when the dongle is present in the computer, but all the uh, editable data is also residing on the dongle. So it can be, it can, uh, be ported with the application between computers just by uh, uh, putting the dongle in, in each machine. So once we've done all that, uh, we uh, build a protected application. So regardless of where the application is actually stored on the computer, it only launches if the dongle is present in, the, in a USB drive. Uh, if we uh, pull the dongle out, which we'll do now, and attempt to launch the application, uh, the dongle not found message is presented. In this video, we've demonstrated how you can protect an access application and then distribute to customers with an offline activation process, an automated process using serial numbers, or by binding your application to a USB dongle. Learn more at excelsoftware.com.